Hey guys, this is Aman and welcome back to another fresh new video of PowerPoint School. Here in this video, I will show you how to make this exact animated infographic chart in just PowerPoint. Before starting out today's tutorial, let me tell you that PowerPoint School has its own official website which is powerpointschool.com. From here, you can download our templates for free. Make sure you visit our website. So without wasting any further time, let's start out today's tutorial. Here I have already taken a blank slide. So first we need to take this hollow circle. Then holding Ctrl Shift from your keyboard, drag it over here. Go to Format. From this side, I will make the height and width 4 inch. Drag this yellow dot to the left to make it thinner. Then from Shape Outline, select No Outline. Make sure you place this hollow circle in the exact middle of our PowerPoint slide. Then press Ctrl D to make a duplicate, place it over the previous one, holding Ctrl Shift, make it bigger, drag this yellow dot, again press Ctrl D to duplicate, place it over the previous one, make it bigger again, drag this yellow dot. In the same way we have to make 4 different hollow circles, make sure these circles have the same amount of gap and same size border, otherwise it will not look good. After adding all the hollow circles, press Ctrl A to select all of them, go to format from shape fill, pick this color. Now what I'll do, right click on this slide, click on duplicate slide. Here you can see we have got another new slide with the exact shapes. So select the first hollow circle, pick a rectangle shape, cover the upper half portion of it, holding the Ctrl button select this two, go to format, from merge shape, select subtract. Then select the second hollow circle. Pick another rectangle, cover the upper half portion of it, holding the control button select these two different shapes from merge shape select subtract. In the same way we have to subtract all the hollow circles. This is very simple so I am doing a bit fast forward. When we are done with the subtracting process we need to change the color one by one. So select a shape from shape fill give a different color. You will get all the colors with the template file so you need not worry about it. Just select all these hollow circles, press Ctrl X to cut and press Ctrl V to paste it here. Now I'll just delete the extra slide. Now we have to group all these hollow circles one by one. Holding the Ctrl button, select both, I mean the full and half hollow circle. Then press Ctrl G to group them together. After that, pick a oval shape, holding Ctrl Shift, drag it over here, then go to Format. Set the size 4 inch from both side, from shape outline, select no outline. Place it here in the middle, holding Ctrl Shift, drag it to right and it will be duplicated. Then pick a rectangle shape, cover the upper half portion, holding the Ctrl button select these two shapes, from merge shape, select subtract. Then from shape fill, give this color. From shape effects, from shadow, select offset top. Now select this full circle from shape fill, change its color, bring it to here. Then what we need to do, select both the circles, holding Ctrl Shift, drag them to right and they will be duplicated. Now to separate these two different circles, I will use a different color. So this is very simple, just select the shape and from shape fill, change its color. Then holding the control button select this two circle, right click on it and select send to back. Here you can see we have some extra shadow area which I do not want to keep. So pick a rounded corner rectangle, drag it over here, increase the roundness, go to format, from shape outline select no outline, from shape fill changes color. Here you can see the shadow has gone and it looks better. Using the same process we have to hide all the shadow area, this is very simple. I'll just make a duplicate of it, change its color and bring the new one to here. After hiding all the shadow area, we need to add some icons, so go to insert, click on picture. From here I'll take these 4 icons which I have already downloaded from flaticon.com. I'll provide the website link in the description of this video. From here one by one, place all the icon over here. As we have 4 different hollow circle, I have taken only the 4 icons. To save time I'll use the same icon on the next block. So select all the icon holding Ctrl Shift, drag them to right and they will be duplicated. Now we have to pick a text box, drag it over here, 
add some title text selecting all the text change the font to montserrat extra bold italic change the font color make it center i'll place it here in the middle pick another text box drag it over here add some brief text place it in the middle then holding the control button select these two text boxes press ctrl g to group them together make a duplicate one place it over here then zoom out from your slide select all of them bring them to down now i'll pick a rectangle shape drag it over here go to format from shape fill changes color to white so that it matches with the background color from shape outline select no outline now what i'll do select only these elements which are behind the rectangle make sure you do not select the rectangle that we have added then right click on it and select bring to front this rectangle is actually helping us to hide all the extra portion of our hollow circles now what i'll do pick another text box drag it over here add some title change the font increase the font size change the font color make it right align make another copy of this text box decrease the font size add some brief text holding the control button select these two text boxes press ctrl g to group them together in the same way we can create other text boxes so i'll just copy them from our previous slide press ctrl c to copy and press ctrl v to paste let's just place them in the right position and from our previous slide i'll just copy the upper portion also press ctrl c to copy and press ctrl v to paste so we are done with creating all the necessary elements now we can go for the animation part to animate i have selected the first group of hollow circle go to animation click on animation pane from here we can look over animation status to add the first animation from add animation under emphasis we need to select spin from animation pane click on this drop down arrow go to effect option from amount we need to set a custom degree for the spin animation here i'll set 90 degree hit the enter button increase the smooth end and press ok keep this on click duration 1.50 second select this first text box to add the animation on it from add animation select float in set a start with previous duration 0 0.50 second and delay 0.75 second select the second hollow circle from add animation under emphasis select spin again keep this on click duration 1.50 second click on this drop down arrow go to effect option from amount i will set 65 degree increase the smooth end and press ok select the second text box from add animation select float in set a start with previous duration 0 0.50 second increase the delay 0 0.75 second as we are using the same type of animation to save time we can use animation painter tool to copy and paste the animation so select the first hollow circle where we have already added the animation click on animation painter to copy and paste it on the new one but click on this drop down arrow go to effect option from here i will just change the degree and press ok now select the second text box where we have added the float in animation click on animation painter to copy and paste it over here if you want to go through the manual process select the hollow circle from add animation select spin click on this drop down arrow go to effect option from amount change the degree that you want increase the smooth end and press ok keep on click duration 1.50 second select the text box from add animation select float in set a start with previous duration 0 0.50 second and delay 0.75 second and we are done with the animation process now if you start the slideshow you can see everything is working as expected as always you can download this template for free i'll provide the download link in the description of this video if you have enjoyed this tutorial make sure you like and share this video 
If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, press the bell icon so that you never miss a new video from our channel. So that's all from this video. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.